On Ice Hockey UK TV, in association with McDonald's, we're outside the team hotel. They call this rest day, and the girls have had a chance to just go into town. Just a, a bit over there, if you look over my shoulder, that's into the town centre of Maribor. Uh, and there the girls were able to have a, a couple of hours this morning when they were able to have a, a bit of downtime. Basically, they were able to walk around the town, do what they wanted. And to be honest, they had an ice cream. You'll hear more in a minute about that. Uh, and they certainly enjoyed themselves down by the river. It's a very beautiful place indeed. We're coming inside the hotel now and uh, basically this is where the girls can sit down and have a bit of relaxation in the lobby. This is the Hotel Tabor in Maribor. Uh, basically I said it was rest day but they've still trained this afternoon and also for the girls it's a special day because it's, it's team photo day and that's always a great day whichever nation you're representing, whichever level of ice hockey you're representing, you get to go on the ice of course, the team and the staff and the official team photo. So while the girls went to training they had that first of all and then had the session ahead of tomorrow's game against Mexico already wins for GB against Australia and DPR Korea. So two out of two so far for GB. Just coming through now because some of the girls are, are having a bit of downtime before dinner. We're going to speak to Louise Adams and Jodie Bloom in a moment. But you come through to the back of the hotel where they are located at the moment. Lovely little setting because also if we just come down here, Carl, you can just see the ring right in the far direction over there. That big building with the big two whiter tall structures over the far side. So literally it's about what two minutes walk away if that where the GB girls can walk over to the ring so let's catch up now with Jodie and Louise to you first Jodie they call this rest day you've had training today we'll talk about that later but but first of all you've got the chance to go down the town and have a walk around and see the sights how was that yeah it was really good to get out we uh, walked around found some ice cream shops many of ice cream shops trying to find the best one really but it was good to get out and Louise, how important when you play five games in seven days is it to have that, that downtime, just something to do, something different than either being in a hotel or, or an ice rink? Yeah, it's very important because it gets quite repetitive as the week gets on, so it's nice to have that little break and get away. And obviously walking is a good active recovery as well. And what about today's session? Is, is it all about kind of keeping up the, the momentum, really, and keeping up the fitness? Because three games to go, Jody, that there's still a lot of hockey to play, I guess. Yeah, there is, and we've got lots of things to still work on. And every session that we go on, we, we practice those things. Louise, the last few years, the team, I guess, in the World Championship has started a bit slowly and been playing catch-up to get a medal. But this year, it's, it's two out of two so far. So confidence in the camp seems really high. Yeah, and all the girls are getting along well, which I think helps with team morale. And it's just moving forward from here, take each game as it comes, and hopefully we can come out with a medal. And what about the game tomorrow, Mexico? They made it tough for you in Kazakhstan. It was in the Olympic qualifiers. You know, there's, it's a cliche, and I'm going to say it, at a tournament like this, there's, there's no easy games, is there, Jody? No, definitely not. We can't take them easy. It's going to be a tough game. We've just got to take one period at a time. Louise, how important is team spirit? You mentioned it there, but, you know, if, if everyone gets on, I guess it makes it a much easier trip for everyone. Yeah, I think cohesion is a massive thing for us. Like, if people don't get along, you can see it on the ice. And you, it just, you're more relaxed if you know that your friends are around you and that when you do something, you've got the support there for you. Jodie, you missed out in, in 2016 in Korea. How, how, how bad was that for you? And how, in a way, was it make you determined to, to get back this year? It was horrible, seeing everyone having fun, the pictures of the beach and everything, everyone just being together. It was heartbreaking, but worked hard, got back in the team, and here I am. And what about the rest of the tournament, Louise? It, it's opening up at the moment for you for a medal. Is the confidence there that that, that can happen, at, you know, a minimum bronze and, and possibly even more, of course? Yeah, talking to the girls, they all have a, a lot of belief of what the team's capable of this year. So hopefully we can move forward and get that done.